Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. I have not had the opportunity to enter a photo yet, right? That's just part of the story, I think. I think. They keep reminding it to me, they keep reminding me about the photo so often that it makes me think that I'm somehow not doing it correctly. Like the game thinks I'm supposed to have done it and like the NPCs are trying to remind me, but I, I think it's probably just because the uh, game's episodic and they want to remind you about that task every episode just so you know about it being a plot point eventually. Poor Daniel. Looks like he needs a hug. Let me guess, you're not going to give him one. Hey Daniel, you look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anybody, Max. <laughs> But, oh, I did actually have a conversation with Brooke. She was very sad about Kate. So am I. And angry. We should stop going to class and stage a protest. Uh, but that's not going to happen at Blackwell. Yet. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but... I'll go. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Well, it'll be interesting to see how that one plays out. Hey, skateboard, I'm just gonna get in your way real quick, if you don't mind. It's been so long since I've seen you. No, no, I'm in your way. I'm in your way. Come here. Think you're cool? Oh. Well, that wasn't very nice. You just do that in circles all day? Forever? No exceptions? Alright. She was probably high. Yeah. She had the sick nugs. True that. Okay, I have to bounce. 
Come hang with I us. can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. I mean, I'm pretty sure he found his Wait way here. in before. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. What's your signal, huh? So we know that no one's in here? I guess I can just rewind if I get caught. Safety first. Apparently Logan missed this poster. Look before you lust. Always use protection and secure your future. The Vortex Club sucks ass. Love, Evan. Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. <laughs> Evan rolls. Oh, he's so, she's so dreamy. Oh, why, hello, Trevor. And Dana. I'm here with you, right? They're bickering in there? Let's just be snoozy about this. I mean, nosy about this. I can't hear them anymore. Oh, toilet paper. Charming. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? There's literally nothing else to do. Oh. They love their, their bathroom, apparently. Sit and shit. Dork think tank. Welcome to black smell. Luke, uh, Luke worry I, rules. I can't read that really. And free glory hole. Okay. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. So that must be the, uh, yep, that's the art boy's room. Oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Lots of good friends. Kind of surprised he would post that stuff outside in the first place. Though, seems like a bad idea. Bigfoot's got big balls. Zack or Logan? <laughs> Who knows? Bro's got a bro. But a lot of tryhards around here. Ugh, skunkweed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. It's all good in the woods. And the Prescott's rule this town. Oh, that's creepy. This can only be Nathan's room. There's decent evidence. Looks, let's look around though for the sake of it. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. These are the weirdest occurrence. These random... Is this normal for a dorm? I never really had this experience. Do they just have random whiteboards everywhere? Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. It says, there is no unique picture of reality. Stephen Hawking. They, they do something to his, oh. Warning, beta fag alert. Great people. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Wow. Yeah, bad luck being directly across the hall from that guy. Although there's not much escape anyway. I can have a little fun with Warren for a change. I mean, he's the one who wants to go Abe. And sometimes you have to take a chance and see what happens. I hope Warren doesn't think that's too dorky. I mean, not like he isn't. He'll laugh, right? I think you might be leading him on a little more than you are thinking you are. Oh well.
Yeah, time no travel powers. To find Nathan's phone or anything with clues. Fixing that door. I know what I'm doing. Here we go. Door's fixed. Joyce. Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you are and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know what happened, so don't bother to, to defend or explain. I hope... I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You can be such a good influence on her, unless you both want to play bad. But she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce. Even I get into shenanigans, but I'm trying to be good at influence on, Sh on Chloe. I know, Max. I forget you're still teenage adults. Oh, an actual comment from Dad. Let's see. Hey, honey, I got a weird text warning me that my nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank? And it's from a blocked number. Oh, I'm sorry, some jackass in my class thought that it would be funny to send. It's not. I don't like strangers having my number, okay? Me neither, sorry. I'm just being a dad. I know this has to be a tough week for you. It's all over. It's almost over. I'll call you guys later. Love you. These messages get a- wow, I'm getting a lot of messages today. Warren. I wrote on your wall. Yo, yo, Max, your friend Chloe texted me that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. Chloe actually texted you? I- I sure didn't have her number. At least I still get to go ape with you, unless you want to chill with Chloe. Or we could all go. One pain in the ass is enough. Cool. I have to chat, talk to you later. So many messages. Ooh, a diploma, let's destroy it. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. Best son in the world. It's almost like he might have, like, Oedipus complex and creepy dilemmas and messed up things in her head, his head. Look, we should destroy the, destroy the lens. We should destroy everything. This place sucks. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Bastard. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. 24 hour creepy imagery wall. Are these his photos? Or is this a f some sort of weird silent film? Creepy chair. Anything else? Creepy house? Can't really identify what I'm looking at right now, actually. This person's got some issues, though. But we already knew that. Oh, cool. Prescriptions. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. What if we take the pills from one bottle and put them in the other bottle, and we don't tell him? I'd cry, too, if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. And he keeps that around. Damaged. He's damaged. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. In a moment, be patient. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... It's a, it's a gift from who? We didn't get to see who? Uh-oh. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Just a bunch of half-naked people in pictures and a weird bird, apparently. Chica, is that you? These films all have a dark pattern. Except for those yellow ones, that's pretty bright. If you look close enough, you can tell that there's actually repeating movies up there. Yep. I can see a lot of the same movie over and over again. It happens. He it has happens. everything in here, except peace of mind. Nathan took this from Kate's altar. Why? What is with this dude? Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. He just stares at that long into the night, imagining all the things he's going to do to you. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Sure. And it's about the size of that poster. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. 
Is that a is that a sharpened macro shot of a dead bird? Okay. It almost looks, it looks tilt shifted or something, but I can't tell from here because they're little watercolor paintings instead of real photos. <sighs> Nathan clearly casts his fetish down. That is so Chloe. Hey asshole, we need to talk or I'm going to tell everybody what you did and you're going to pay, motherfucker. It's probably the note that got her killed until I stepped in. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Well. Darkness achieved. Didn't we... Re didn't get revealed in, like, the first episode that Chloe got raped by Nathan? Nathan? Was that an image of her being drugged? Whale songs? <sighs> Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. Oh, I can't leave him on? That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. I was just thinking if we kept the, if we kept the uh, sound on and went around, we'd have a really creepy combination going on here. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Rage On, a teen parent guide to anger management. Dr. Bill. I mean, what? who doesn't sound like an expert more than Dr. Bill? Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Hey, gorgeous. Let me know what you're wearing at the Vortex this week so I can wear something that's just as style and expensive. I'm psyched about going, and I'm picking up some serious pate favors. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get the we get wrecked without some without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's get uh, get let's do it to a fucking point, right? Oh, bastard! Now I remember why I hate you, and why Kate will get justice. Vortex Club, October twenty thirteen. Party hard. Kate's gone wild. So he, he probably uploaded that in the first place, but he's just been sitting there watching it over and over again, probably. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week, and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment any time. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out of his book tour, but for now, let's stick with your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while, while Pan Estates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden, and I'll guide you into this room step by step, as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened up my eyes to our destiny, but now you'll be think you'll think you'll be thanking me someday. Just worry about Blackwall. This shithole town is going to get an enema along with the fresh brand. I I want to be I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Your father. Okay, family. Great. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Toodle Bim from Bazil, little brother. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I bragged to all my co-workers at the Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world, even though I can't always check my, my mail or phone. Please, please, please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you and your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I loved you, you know I love dad, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you and don't let him change you into one just for the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. Back to the mangrove. Mangrove? Uh, sending out good thoughts? Better write back or I'll have a jaguar shipped to your dorm. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Dexamine generic. That's expensive. Wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the recent recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. 
I know your father was upset while I assured him that you will never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you uh, distracted from school, and I certainly this matter will be settled at the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. These are weird messages just to have open all the time, don't you? First of all, it's my minor problem here. Like, there's tabs on the top of the screen, and as we scroll through them, th this at this point, the tabs don't change when all the other ones do change. So that's a little weird. But anyway, uh, it's weird that he just has all these opens and tabs all the time. Like, that, that first one happened a while ago, like three episodes ago. Am I... I'm still looking for something, aren't I? I already looked at the photos, right? Yeah. Am I missing something major here? Projector? Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. What are we trying to... F Is there anything else we want to find here before we move on? Oh. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Oh, just a little bit of doom. Let's find out what you're hiding. Is it the dark room? Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Alright, full-on creepiness achieved. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Alright, then let's leave. Cool, now it's open. And he's right there. Or not. Well, now they won't catch me in the room, but they're still going to be wondering why I'm in the boys' dorm. Really inconspicuous, standing directly in front of the exit like that. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. <clears throat> you are so fucking dead. <sighs> Get off me, bro! You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Get off me! Please! <laughs> Please stop! He's down! Hey, come on! Stop! <laughs> Sorry! Yes, we have to go! Who's the bitch now? Chloe! Warren went full alpha on Nathan, and it was good, but scary. Nope. Shit, man. This really hurts. No sympathy for murderers. 